Now, I do have some fails. The scent smell so bad. I'm not here to spend my money in Illy Willy. It is that time of the month. Well, not really that time of the month, but you know what I'm talking about. It is the time for me to share with all of you my January favorites. Those products that I have been obsessing with, those products that I have either discovered during January or those that I have love and enjoy for years and those of you who are my followers whether here on youtube on instagram tiktok you know my friends that i do have a scoliosis and it is very hard to keep up with certain things like for once the posture is not the best sometimes if i use certain heels oh it hurts i can get like cramps and tingling and whatnot but perhaps the worst has to do with the sleep because if I do have a horrible sleep during the night then the next day it's completely ruined for me and I do have an excellent mattress but about I will say five to six months ago I started developing this very horrible pain on the right side of my head and going through my neck all the way down here and I'm like why is this going on? Something that it felt pretty much paralyzing. Sometimes I could even move my head from side to side and I felt like something was stretching so hard and I couldn't pinpoint what was it until it came back to me. So about a year ago, I moved from one house to another house and anyhow, on that move, my beloved pillow got damaged. It was in a box and inside that box, I mean, you know how it goes, the moves there was a liquid that got put in that box the liquid spill and it ruined the things that were inside so the entire box had to be disposed unfortunately so about three weeks ago or so i got back my sleep and glow omnia pillow and this is a game changer you have seen me here on my youtube channel talking about the omnia pillow perhaps like three years ago or almost four years ago this is a game changer. In my case in particular, it helps me with my posture during the sleep because it helps me out to just rest. I mean, you can both rest on your side because the good thing about this pillow is you have one side over here that I'm sure you can notice is concave. So you have this hollow space and you have makeup. I really do not want to mark it, but let me just show it to you. So imagine I'm resting right here. If I go on my side, you see this space right here one thing that it will do is it will help you to do not develop those deep set wrinkles i mean imagine we sleep eight hours a day which is the third of our day we spend the time sleeping so imagine that part of your face being a squish and that is one of the reasons why you get the side wrinkles so bad in my case though when I sleep on my side, if I don't have a well-supported pillow, guess what happened? My head is going to go down in an awkward position with my scoliosis and it just adds on the pain. So think about this pillow as it's going to train you because you have in the middle a little bit of kind of like a cradle kind of side where if you were to sleep or trying to train to sleep on your back it will not only cradle your head but it also adds the support on your neck and shoulders in addition to that in the first place when i got my first opnia pillow one of the things that i wanted to do is to train myself to sleep on my back instead of being sleeping on my side not only because my scoliosis itself, but because I noticed I was developing lines right here on my decollet. And if you don't know, when you sleep on your back and with a good posture, you prevent those lines that it occurs right here on our chest, as well as the neckline. And I'm just so beyond happy that I got it back because believe me when I'm telling you that my tension on my head definitely is not there anymore. I can see on my face, I was having this very harsh line right here and right here they are pretty much gone i'm not saying that this pillow will just remove your wrinkles no but it does help a lot in posture and also to prevent those extreme very deep set wrinkles another thing that i love about this new omnia pillow and i say new because the past one didn't have let me just open it here for you so you can take a look at it but there is another insert so if you need just a little bit more height you can actually adjust it you can either take it off or put it back on again oh and by the way if you're wondering there is a side that is 
thicker and taller while there is a smaller size you want to sleep with a smaller size closer to your shoulder and you know what i also really like the pillowcase that comes with it's called tensel which it's a like i mean if you can imagine a little bit of like a satin kind of fabric just like that very soft and more than anything it's extremely cooling and for those who are entering you know how it goes pre-menopause menopause everything that is cooling is fantastic they also offer seal pillowcases that i'm very interested to get and talking about getting i do have a discount code with a sleep and glow to me one of the best inventions if you are trying to target wrinkles fine lines and on my case also posture highly highly recommend it it's not a jacqueline video if we're not talking about fragrance oh my goodness tom for vanilla sex has been oh my loved one i'm sure i'm almost done with this thing i I got too small of a size. <laughs> Let me tell you, I need to get the big one. This smells spectacular. More than vanilla, it has a little bit more of marzipan, bitter almond kind of scent, a little bit doughy and oh, so good, not cloying. It actually performs amazingly well. It's long lasting too. Something that we know with Tom for is not usually the case, but this case it is. I'm sure you have noticed my nails by now. No, these are not salon nails. These are not gel or acrylics, nothing of that. They are actually, yes, they are fake nails, obviously. And you know, my friends, I have always told you, I really enjoy and have a lot of fun at changing the color of my nail polish at home. But lately I have noticed that like I removed my nail polish and say, for example, I had to do something and I couldn't immediately apply a nail polish mostly on my right hand side my nails were cracking or peeling in half and I had like one nail that it was longer another one that it was shorter one that it was like completely like super super short and the last time that this happened it was I will say about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago something like that like 10 days give it at that so I needed to get to a place and I had a meeting with a client. I did not have any time to waste. And I remember I had bad the Glamnetic press on nails and I never used them. I had them in one of my doors, like whatever, right? So I said, you know what? Let me just take them out and see what it happens. Well, I really love the style. I mean, they are the classic French nails, a little bit more almond shape. These are the, these are the style Madame. By the way, I will be leaving details of each of the products. Everything will be on the description box below, links, discount codes and whatnot. But anyhow, I apply them and they really did the job for me. Now, one thing is I do not like the glue because yes, I went to my meeting, but, but about three to four hours, one of the nails snapped, then another of the nails snapped. And I was like, okay, so they are falling off. I mean, it helped me to look presentable during my meeting, but the glue is kind of like a hit and miss. It could have been also that perhaps I used the wrong size of nail. Obviously this comes with several sizes, but I may have used too small of a nail that it really didn't stick to the bed of my own nail. Because later on when I apply another nail, because one of the nails, I mean like the story is long, <laughs> I lost one of the nails and I reapply a larger size nail. It actually stayed well. And I have had them for, I would say a little bit over perhaps 10 days and they are still in place. They are doing good. I will recommend you one to size really well the nail that you're gonna put that it fits right for you, even if it's a little bit larger, as long as it's not touching too much your skin because you don't wanna cause that irritation. And also if you can, well then upgrade the glue. But these are a fantastic solution. We have to talk about this bag. I have told you friends that I love bags that they are easy to get into. I really do not mind to use a top handle bag that really doesn't bother me. I have used top handle bags for years, mostly on the profession that I'm in, always carrying swatches and different kind of products inside my bags. I have used for years big chunky bags and when using those type of bags that they carry so many things, honestly, you just get used to do not have a crossbody strap or a shoulder strap. And this proved me once again that I'm just in love with this bag now you all know that this is not the real deal that it was gifted to me but i love it <laughs> i love it i love how comfortable it is how practical it is and how look it wears with pretty much everything that i put on i 
say pretty much because obviously this is not a bag that I would specifically use for a cocktail or for a gala. It's not that kind of bag, but it's a very practical bag and it's a really good bag and it's really well constructed. That being said, my friends, yes, that means that yes, I will still have on my Hermes wish list a Birkin. And wish me luck to that because after right now, I haven't been offered one. Also, another thing that I have been loving so much, I also showed it on my December favorites, is this wallet from Chanel. Now, this is the real thing. This is caviar leather, pink. I think this was from 23K collection or the cruise collection. No, I think it's 23K. I do have an unboxing of this baby. It just fits all my cars. It fits some cash inside. It has other compartments. Easy to use, easy to grab and go. Another thing that I wanted to do that I haven't figured it out just yet is perhaps to not add permanently, but you know how sometimes you can get those inserts that you can just like tuck it in perhaps behind over here and just put a chain and use it as a little wallet on chain, but tiny, but mighty. Oh my gosh, this is such a good, good wallet. It's a little bit larger than the smaller wallet, but so good. You're gonna get two in one right here, what's in my bag? Well, I'm not gonna go through everything that is in my bag, but these two babies right here. The Dior Lip Scrub, it's a must have. I'm telling you friends, this is something that I don't talk about it enough. If you're out and about and you know that you're not coming back home to retouch your makeup or whatever is the case, have this lip scrub on hand. It comes kind of like a lipstick. You just rub it and it has a little bit of granules. It's not gonna leave residue on your lips but it will just exfoliate your lips right away. And then, you know, one of my favorite lip oil by Hermes in this specific shade is 05 Rose Cola. It smells like Coke. If you're either a lover of cola or you just simply do not want to drink any cola anymore, I mean, this will suffice. To me, this is just like, oh, such a pleasure to apply on the lips. Diving deeper into makeup, I have been enjoying so much the Chanel Le Beige hydrating winter glow primer. It's so beautiful, but I know it has been in and out of stock. So then I was digging into my makeup collection and I remember that last year, around the same time, Dior came out with pretty much the same primer where you can find a little bit of that pearlized mother of pearl kind of effect this will give it to you and this is permanent. It will just give you that beautiful glow, no glitter, no shimmer. It doesn't go white. It just gives you a pearlized finish to your skin. Talking about pearlized, thinking about pearls. I mean, this is nothing new to you, but I have been enjoying to wear my hoops with pearls from Monica Binader. They are just so beyond beautiful. I always get compliments about these hoops. You basically get the hoop and you can add on the pearl, which it just gives a little bit more dynamic to just a simple hoop. Pearls are always so romantic, so feminine, and whether they are they are more of like a statement piece or something a little bit more denty, like my bracelet. Mm. Just in love. I love this bracelet so much. I never thought that I was gonna love a pearl bracelet as much as I do. This is one of my favorite jewelry pieces. Another pearl jewelry piece, my ring, also from Monica Binader. <sighs> so beautiful. I love Monica Binader's design. They do an incredible job and not really a jewelry piece piece per se, but something that has even more value to me, and if you have watched my unboxing, you know why, is this Dior kind of like quote-unquote friendship bracelet. Well, in summary, they come in sets of two, and I bought one set for my oldest daughter, and she decided to give me one for me and keep one for her, so we both have one, not identical, but very close, like hers is kind of ivory with gold, super beautiful, so yes, I have been wearing these at all times. It means so much to me that it was a gift from me to her and that she decided, you know, I'm gonna split it and give it one to you and treat it more of a friendship bracelet instead of just like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm getting these two set. It's just sentimental value and it's super pretty. It's from the Dior Cruise Collection too with a little butterfly, so stunning. There's a few pieces from Dior's Cruise Collection that I'm eyeing and oh my gosh, I'm so close to pull the trigger on something, but 
I'm trying to be good. And if you're curious and wondering why in these favorites of January, I'm not including my latest purchase from Chanel's 24P collection, it is because I have not been wearing them enough to include them on this video, although I'm just obsessed with those products. I just feel that I just need to wear them a little bit more to give you a true feedback about those purchases. And let me know if you wanna, perhaps I can do like current favorites or kind of like a follow-up on luxury purchases. Let, let me know if that's a video that will interest you. Let's go back to makeup. These two beautiful foundations. Well, the beautiful foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. It looks beautiful, it looks glowy, it looks stunning. But the one that I'm wearing today is this one by La Prairie, which they just reformulated. It is a cushion foundation. I love the finish. It's not the typical cushion foundation finish, which I love, don't get me wrong. I love cushion foundations. They are some of my very favorites because the way that you apply it is really pressing on the skin and doing this motion. That means it meshes on the skin. And when it is a really good formulation, your skin is gonna look just flawless. And this is the same thing that happens with this foundation. Now, the main difference with most of my foundations that are in the cushion format, it is that most of them are very glowy. This one is more alike to perhaps the one from Chantecaille where it has more of a natural finish, is long lasting. This is a foundation that will work for many skin types. I will say definitely dry, normal combination skin. You have zero problems. It lasts throughout the day so well. Like if you are working, hustling, and you know, you're breaking a sweat, this will go through that and more. This will just work wonderful for any occasion. And talking about any occasion, also for being a cushion foundation, it does have more coverage than most cushion foundations. It has more of like a true medium coverage. Very impressed and very happy I added La Prairie to my collection of foundations. In the eyeshadow department, Natasha Denona and her my mini dream palette, what a dream palette. This is to me a must have. It's more, doesn't really relate too much to the actual my dream palette. To me, it looks and it feels more of an extension of the I need a nude eyeshadow palette. So if you wanna have a mini version of I need a nude eyeshadow palette, definitely this is a must have. Plus you don't get too many repeated shades. Four of them are new and just this one right here, it's a repeated shade, which it makes it a little bit more versatile. There's not too much repetition on my collection too. And the formula is a spectacular. Talking about spectacular formulas, I'm so happy about this Eclat de Nuit eyeshadow palette by Chanel. Classy, classy, elegance, smoky, but every day at the same time. I mean, you can just use these two shades right here or for, you know, kind of like an evening going out, but nothing that is too much, just these three shades or go a little bit more bold and intense with these shades or all four or just these two shades. This is the new formulation from Chanel. I know they are reformulating more Chanel eyeshadow palettes and we're gonna see more of these and I'm just so happy because this formula is killer. There is no fallout. It lasts throughout the day. There's no fading. Chef's keys. Talking about chef's keys, the eyeshadow palette that I'm using today, and I'm honest with you, I just reviewed it. I haven't used it by much, but the formula of Icon Smoke from Tom Ford, it is unparalleled. I'm just saying. This is a creme formulation. Literally, it blurs all your imperfections. There is zero fallout, full opacity, full pigmentation. Incredible. This is what I want from an eyeshadow quad. That concise, little, mighty, impactful. This is what I want. Look at this. Look at this wet eyeshadow. I'm just gonna show you, look, look, look at this. I cannot even see my fingerprints with these matte eyeshadows. They are creamy, smooth, non-powdery, and they do not fade. That is key because sometimes we get into these smoky eyeshadow looks or very intense eyeshadow looks that they look fabulous upon application, but then just in a few hours, everything starts going downhill. 
We don't want anything of that. We do not have time for anything of that. And nowadays, the formulas that we see in the market, they're just getting better and better. At the beginning of January, I was still using this baby and I'm still going for it whenever I want to feel a little bit more romantic. Oh my goodness. This is from that Le Beige line in cool. I'm pretty sure this will be permanent. I know it has been going out of stock because it's to me, one of the best, not only color stories in the Levage line, but also each finish and each of the formulas of this eyeshadow palette is top, top of the line. Three blushes that they have Rin Supreme. I mean, again, Chanel. This is from their Winter Glow collection. Mm, this shade, it's my favorite one, Rose Polaire. It is the perfect rosy tone that doesn't lean Warm tone doesn't leave cool tone. It's neutral. It's gorgeous. It's creamy without being a cream. And this is a characteristic of each of these blushes that they are creamy. The one from Tone 4 in Love Scene. This is a little bit warmer in tone, but not too warm, not leaning orange. It's more of that neutral warm. Perfect for any occasion. And I think what they have done, I mean, intentionally but not intentionally you know how we have seen before this kind of waffle pattern in other blushes and formulas from tone 4 i think by them just having a side that is a little bit more smooth a lot of people are able to pick up the product with easy and this is just creamy it does have a little bit of a sheen without being a satin finish kind of blush but rather just a very smooth ethereal blurring blush and talking about blurring this baby by florasis this is from their new nomadic collection morning rays these and the one from Tom Ford, they are very alike, not only in finish, but also in the shade. Perhaps, let's see, the one from Tom Ford perhaps has a little bit more, is a little bit more neutral. The one from Florasis is a little bit warmer in tone. You see, this one is the one from Tom Ford. It even has a little bit more pink in it. Can you see right there? But the formulation is pretty much identical in terms of like blurring, smoothing, the finish is non-powdery, it's not matte, but it just looks like skin, like hydrated skin. And whenever I don't want to get it, pretty much any makeup, I just use my tinted SPF, then I use this Le Beige Water Fresh Blush in the shade Light Pink obsession it's a very natural tone it has a little bit of a sheer kind of effect and when i say sheer it's not that it's going to go patchy or that the shade is not going to go even it just it really enhances your skin and that is again another characteristic of the le beige water fresh line for bronzer hourglass radiant bronze light i don't even understand myself why at times i don't go back to my hourglass powders because if there is one other brand that I enjoy their products and that I trust their products to give me the best looks is Hourglass. I'm talking about Hourglass, their new lip liners. These will not budge. I like how creamy and smooth they go because they are super easy to glide on the lips, to fill in the gaps and all of that, but they are non-drying. They have a little bit of that moisture kind of effect, but try it, try it on your hand and you will see that in seconds, it will stay, you can wash your hand and it's like, okay, it's still there. You can wash your hands again and they are still there. You can, you know, like clear your lips, you know, how you, when you, we go to lunch, yes, you tap with a napkin, but we brush our teeth, the lip liner will be still there. And I do have a discount code with Hourglass too. By the way, I just want to make sure that you know that on my description box below, I leave those discount codes that I will definitely save you some money. A couple other lip liners that are more trooping because that's another thing about the ones from Hourglass. At least all the new tones that I have gotten, even the ones that they say that they are pinky tones, they are not like the true true pink. They are more of like a warmer pink tone. And it's something that Charlotte Tilbury lack of because Charlotte Tilbury also had kind of the same, I shouldn't say problem, but most of, not really the lip liners, but most of her lipsticks, they lean a lot warmer and some were not truly like true true pink but anyhow she just launched the hollywood beauty icon lip liners and lipsticks which i have reviewed them and i'm obsessed in love with these lip liners the shades icon baby and 90s 
pink. If you don't think you need them, you need them in your life. <laughs> these are true, like this is a true nude pink. It's the one that I'm wearing today. It's just so beautiful. And then night is pink. If you're wearing a true pink tone that is not a cool tone, that is not a warm tone, you want something neutral that goes really well. This it's a must have. And what can I tell you, darling, Charlotte Tilbury did it again with her lipsticks. These are part of her new collection of the Hollywood um, beauty icons. I mean, the names are so long. <laughs> Simplify them, please. But all the shades are fantastic. It's so hard to pick and choose. The one that I'm wearing today is Icon Baby. I'm obsessed and I have been wearing a lot. Candy Cheek, Rose to Fame. Oh, this shade. I'm not gonna swatch it on my lips because I do have a shorts video, reels on my Instagram, also on TikTok. Come and follow me there too. Um, obviously, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. This shade, Candy Cheek, gorgeous. And these are not like bubble gummy pink. They are true neutral pinks. Look at this. The perfect nude pink tone. And some of you have expressed your concern about Icon Baby because I mentioned it, it does have shimmer in it. You're not gonna see the shimmer on your lips. I mean, you cannot see them. It's not going everywhere. It's not like there's no glitter bomb or anything like that. In fact, you're gonna fill them up on application, but then after you apply it, I cannot feel it on my lips at all and whatsoever. There's no greediness or nothing of that. Which one did I forgot to swatch? Nighty Spin. This is stunning too. Look at this. Look at this. So pretty. Now, finally, Charlotte Tilbury gives us pink and on a pink bullet too. Another lipstick, Rouge Dior 429 in Rose Blues. This is your very classy lady pink. I mean, like, Use nothing on your eyelids, like just mascara, put this on and you are, oh, this is just stunning. Look at that. Now this is a matte shade. It looks a lot like Rose of Fame from Charlotte Tilbury. Very alike, not exactly the same, but it's again, that true pink, stunning. And this new formula from Dior, magnifique. Even when velvet, non-drying, full opacity. And although it says velvet, is not your typical matte. It does have a natural finish. And for a little bit more of a matte finish, this baby by Florasis. I don't know if they have more pinky shades because this is more of kind of like a terracotta perhaps or a nudie tone. Yeah, a nude tone. It's very pretty, but it blurs your line so beautifully. It's so thin in consistency and it's non-drying. It's lovely. It adds dimension to your lips too, which is something that also the ones from Charlotte Tilbury do. Great product from Floracis. And if you want to forget the filler, my friends, <laughs> this baby by Lawless, I know. It went viral, I think, a couple years ago. Lip plumping effect. It leaves your lips super juicy, glass-like, amazing. This shade Cherry Vanilla, it's so pretty. It doesn't add too much of a color, but just it makes your lips more flattering in terms of like it evens out those lines. So perfect and it's not painful either, which is something that I appreciate and the smell is so good. Also the Delphi applicator, fantastic. It looks like a little Valerina sleeper, so it really hugs your lips so pretty and your lips are gonna look super juicy and kissable. These brushes are a game changer. Friends, there's so much that good makeup can do. It's kind of like driving a car without one or two wheels. It can get you to somewhere, but not to your destination. And it is the same way with makeup. You can have the greatest makeup, but if you don't have the right tools, you're not gonna go anywhere because your makeup will never look flawless or airbrushed, but these brushes will take you to the next level. You know, friends, how much I love Sonia G brushes and she just had come out with this new set of brushes. Oh my goodness. You just need this set to do your entire eyeshadow look. This brush, transition brush, if you're a person that likes one and done eyeshadows, you just use a matte shade, you wanna just put it all over your lids, this will simplify your life. It picks up products so well. Wow, all of the brushes right here, pencil brush, this little brush, 
tiny but mighty lower lash line or even inner corner soft if you have sensitive skin or say perhaps even a little bit of saggy skin those brushes will make a huge difference on makeup application it will make it much smoother easier faster too and same thing if you have very sensitive skin these chikuhoto brushes I waited for so long because I know they are they are not uber expensive but they are you know a little bit of quote unquote an investment in terms not an investment that a true investment but you know what I mean like something that you really want to put your money on to upgrade your makeup application and these brushes are worth every single penny I will repurchase them again in a heartbeat if I have someone that loves makeup and I'm looking for a gift to that person, I will give these brushes. These are incredible. Silver fox hair, the softest thing my face have ever <laughs> been touched with. My goodness, look at these brushes. Look at these brushes. I use this brush for bronzer, this one too. Depends on which bronzer I want to use and how this purse I want. If it's too much of a cool tone, I go with this one. Otherwise, this one over here, I use this one for blush. I love how slanted it is. Even though they are super silky soft, they pick up products so well. And these for powder all over your face, Guerlain Meteorites, <laughs> such a pleasure. So I cannot wait to really go and dig more into Chico Hoda brushes, in a specific, the silver fox hair, obsessed. Now, I do have some fails. Gucci, ah, it breaks my heart because I was so excited. Every time that Gucci launched something, I get super, super excited. And Gucci launched lip plumping glosses. I returned them all. And the main reason is not because the finish, the shades. The shades are, you know, some of them, they are more noticeable than others. They were really pretty in general, but I couldn't stand the scent. The scent smell so bad. Like, I don't know, like all stinky shoes. Like that. They were, like the scent, it was just, it, it just took me to a place that this is not luxury. This is not fancy. This is... This, is this, this doesn't take me to any happiness. There's no reason, rhyme or reason, why I should keep them. And so they are gone. They, they are gone. I just went ahead and returned them because it's like, no, this I, I cannot put up with this scent. And it's something that I cannot even give it to someone, even if it's a family member or a really close friend that she will be like, I really want them. I will not do that to that person. And it doesn't have anything to do, again, with the performance, the beauty of them. It was the scent that it was just so off-putting. I couldn't stand it. I'm like, it lingers. Not for me. Not for me at all. And I didn't want my husband to kiss me and be like, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah, no. Now, this second one is not really a fail, but a disappointment. And I'm talking about the latest Dior eyeshadow palettes. I know Dior's formula has changed, but I think that your eyeshadow palettes lately, all the ones that I have tried this year, from the spring collection to the other random ones, the color stories are really beautiful, but they are not what they used to be. They leave me with, I want more, and I had it to work, not super hard, I mean like, use just all tricks to make them work and I don't think that's fair at all you know like mostly being Dior I don't know why these con I mean like I understand there's changes in formulations that they need to be approved but no I just don't feel happy with my purchase with your at least with the eyeshadows the lipsticks yes but the eyeshadows right now are no and it's making me think think again should I get any more Dior eyeshadows because they were like really nice then they went to really good and some awesome to now be kind of like I can find these type of eyeshadows anywhere not in terms of color stories and I will say finishes and performance 
it's just not it's just not like that happiness that joy of like wow i spent my money really well so sorry about that but that's the truth okay my friends these were my january favorites i would love to hear from you have you tried any of these products and which were those products that you love and enjoy the most during the first month of 2024 let's just continue that conversation in the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i would invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it would be incredible if you can please come and follow me both on my instagram and tiktok if you like this video please help me out one of my goals this year is to reach 100k and i can only do it with you and your support so please give the video a thumbs up share with family and friends and if you're not done watching my content well i have a couple video recommendations that will show up at the end of the screen that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye, -bye.